Hello everyone, welcome back to Solasta, Crown of the Magister. I think I have some kind of bug going on, because previously I was celebrating the fact that I had two of these stones of good luck. I was like, oh, that's that's really lucky. Yeah, that's that's great. Then it was pointed out to me that while I had attuned to the Cloak of Elvenkind, I had never actually put it on, because I'm bad. But then I was looking around, and look, there is another cloak of elven kind here so i feel like somehow we are just slowly cloning things in various inventories and i'm getting double of certain magic items uh this pirapet we should be wearing which means we're not currently wearing a focus so we need to find another one all of this stuff is just jewelry that can be sold for cash in shops doesn't have any particular purpose. Let's keep our spellcasting focus on for now, but I will remember that that is there. But yeah, so something to note, something to be aware of. We do have that whole situation going on. But other than that, I think we are ready to be pressing on. What is this? Mask banner. That's the one they want us to hang from a building somewhere. As for our progress to level five, we're about halfway there. But right now, I think we've waited long enough. What we should go and do is investigate some of this garden party. So they want us to harvest ingredients for a party. Malacanon orchids, queen ivy, and troll tongues. Oh god, troll tongues? Sounds like a nightmare. But we will go and see what's occurring over in this harvest zone. So here in the city, we can simply go to the entrance actually before we do that before we do that how much food do we have that's going to be really important we've got plenty of food okay i must have bought some recently take me to the entrance we can fast travel out of here and away into the undergrowth where we can expect to find our next bit of mission so this is where they want us to go and hang that banner this is hunting grounds we've got harvest area which is, I think, where we're going to be heading. How many days travel will that be? One. One day travel can handle that. We set camp about 7pm. We take a long rest. We are not ambushed in the night. Consume four units of food. We get to where we're going. Very nice. So, nice, big, open space. No arguments about that. Oh, God. Well. We don't get any say in that, do we? Okay. Goblin. Goblin cutthroat. Goblin skirmisher. Goblin and unknown creature. At least it doesn't have the deadly calligraphy. But these guys up here give me cause for concern. We do have... A very large tree stump, although it does not show the half shield that would indicate it provides cover. Is there going to be any way to get up this cliff? Not until we get to these vines here. Alright, well, this seems like it could be a nightmare, but we will press on. Starting with... A second level guiding bolt. Hopefully this hits and we can get an eye in. More coming your way. Alright, so that was about one sixth of its HP, I would say. So not too unmanageable, although hitting for 24 frequently is not going to be the easiest thing. Let's put ourselves here. These goblins are going about their day. Now, our rogue is not going to be able to sneak attack from here. Oh, there's a goblin right here. Where did you come from? All right. Well, yes, we can't sneak attack against you. But we can hit you very hard. And hopefully because you're just a goblin. 10 HP. Yeah, this goblin is is not long for this world, which I'm very happy about. 
Let's stay right there. Jane is up. We would love to kill this goblin before it gets a chance to do anything else. We could magic missile a couple of darts into it and then a dart into the other guy. We did not even get a moment to mage armor ourselves. But I think just from like here, a firebolt will suffice. Although we have a plus six to hit on the bow and plus four damage, so. Fortune is fickle. That one's not going to do us any help. We'll stand here so we can help cover our allies with our shields. Skirmish is up top. I would love it if you would jump down. We are going to block the skirmisher attack. They, if they are equipped with bows, I doubt they are going to jump down. This other goblin has just appeared in the weeds. That's fine with me. Gulruk. I think just killing this guy is going to be fine. No idea if this giant thing is going to either run up towards us and try and hit us across what would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven-ish tiles with reach or if it's going to like throw a giant rock at us or something but we'll kill this goblin because they pose an immediate threat I'll get you yet. except we will miss on a 12 of course we will oh god Okay, ogres. What do we know about ogres? They're going to regenerate 10 HP at the end of each turn unless they take fire damage. Perhaps, maybe, perhaps. Uh, the goblins managed to disengage away from us, which makes me sad because they're going to attack us a lot. Here, we now have advantage again. So, I'm actually going to come stand right here. And we're going to do our biggest attack at advantage, which is a second level inflict wounds. You die like the rest. 19 damage is not bad. These guys are just going to keep taking pop shots, aren't they? Our team disadvantage will do us well. Unsen can cross over to here. We have no extra things to do apart from just hit with our sneak attack. Ah! Ah, that must have hurt. Nice to hit on a 15. Jaina. So, our turns are probably going to be slightly more defined for us now. In that, until we need to use our power to get somebody some temporary HP, Jaina will be firebolting, or I guess we could Scorching Ray. That gives us three chances to do fire damage. They currently have a minor amount of AC for standing behind Unsen. So, let's move over slightly more. They still have half cover. They still have half cover. I'm mad about it. But hey, we're going to throw those three darts in. We crit on the second one, which is nice. And now I'm hoping, come the end of the order, they won't regenerate. Also, if they decide to come over and try and attack Jaina, there's going to be three opportunity attacks it'll have against it, which is good for us. Right, we're probably not going to get attacks of opportunity since they can disengage so I think we're just going to keep on slamming against the ogre let's put on our weight of justice just because we can Uh, 
Um, I'm not going to smite yet. They make the save. They get hit for 13, which is not bad. That is an incredible nat one. Are they multi-attacking? Yes. They will hit us on a 23. They're triple multi-attacking. Bite and two claws. But they did not regenerate. Block our allies. That continues to go well for us. Okay, I think we're just going to keep slamming whatever we can into this guy. So, let's go for another second level Inflict Wounds. Another 16 damage is decent. A 22 will hit us. Ulrich taking a bit of a beating. Unsen. Just sneak attacking. Another 12 damage. Then Jaina, we are going to probably move across a little bit more. Try and reduce the amount of cover they're getting from our allies being stood there. They no longer have plus two AC. So there go another three darts. We hit with two more, which is good going. Goblin Skirmisher is going to miss on a nat one. This guy is just going to keep doing little bits of incremental damage and disengaging, which is a really cheap trick. Uh, Paladin. Still have 24 HP. Bjorn is taking a beating. That's what I should really be concerned with. This is our last attack before this other guy goes again. I think then... We're going to lay on hands for 19. Keep Bjorn up. We get hit really hard. Twice. There goes Relentless Endurance. One more. All right, Goldrick is dying. At least these throwing daggers or whatever it is, pebbles, is not doing anything to us. Bjorn, we can get Goldrick up, or I think we need to try and kill this creature before it has a chance to kill us. Which is going to be tough, especially with the goblins that can come in and hit and disengage. Or, we can bonus action. Let's bonus action healing word on Gulruk. Because if they don't go down again, they will get another attack. And with that done, we can switch to mace and shield. We'll increase our armor class. And if we hit with this, we can use our D channel divinity. A fine stroke. Uh, did it make it save? It did. But this thing is more injured. That's going to hit us. Who did it hit? It hit Bjorn, I think. Yes. Okay. We're going to sneak attack here. Good. 20 damage. They are nearly dead. Jaina. It's between a Scorching Ray or I just think if we do Magic Missiles, if we put two into this creature, it's probably overkill, but I'd rather overkill and it be dead. Although, let's think about that for a moment. Sometimes, and I don't know if this is the case in Solasta specifically, if the creature would be dead, but they didn't receive fire damage this turn then it will still regenerate 10 HP and take another turn. So to hedge our bets, we will Scorching Ray. We'll do two into there in case we miss one, because I think we should hit at least one of the two. And we'll stick the other one in this goblin. You're kidding. Ah, he's still up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, he took fire damage. That's a good start. 
Don't kill Gulrak. Shit. He's gonna die. Stay with us. That's two death saves. That's another two death saves. Gulrak is dead. Unsen takes a massive hit. I should have just plowed three missiles into him. Bjorn is dying. Oh, it's all just come tumbling down. If Bjorn dies, we can't get Gulrick back. And the winner is me. Right, come stand in front of Bjorn. We need to get to here so that we can provide cover. These two goblins near us are probably not too long for this world. However, these ones up high are our real problem. They're not very good at throwing pebbles, are they? Right. Bjorn is slowly stabilizing themselves. I think we will simply try and kill this guy. It's not going to do it. Alright, that one's dead. Let's stand here. That's gonna miss. We both have decent AC at the moment. Okay, Bjorn has stabilized themselves into unconsciousness. Which is good. Jaina is up. Unsent is now down. Jesus. Okay, um, this is bad. This is very bad. Let me stabilize here. Okay, they're also unconscious. I don't even think this counts as cover, does it? They're attacking Unsen on the ground. Your comrades will save you. She's now dying because we didn't... Because we only stabilized. Stabilize again. That's not going to do it. Oh, man. I should have just put that extra dart into the ogre, man. It would have been the difference maker here. Hold firm. You've endured worse. I don't know why Gulrick is 10 plus at the moment, rather than ticking down through individual turns. Oh, God. These checks. All right, let's do that again. We'll load up right when initiative is rolled, I presume. We can, we can do that fight. We can. We can do that fight. It's just I made a couple of terrible decisions, it seems. All right, the initiative is the same. This goblin was apparently here the whole time. Last time we started off with the guiding bolt. Why not start in the same spot? They don't have any extra AC from here. More coming your way. That's a good chunk of damage, right? Goblins are spending their turns getting in position. Unsen could go get a sneak attack in here. But we can also get one in. No, we can't. This is one few two. I should have had Bjorn step over so we could get a sneak attack here. That is a pain in the butt. 
but hey, we will still hit this guy. 10 damage leaves him on like 3 or 4. Jaina wants to hit this guy with fire so that he does not get back. Death reaches out for you. A crit hit and a miss. Seems to be the flavor with those things these days. More skirmishes getting in position. We will block one another. Uh, shield. Yes, we only have 18 HP. I'm thinking perhaps we maybe should have moved backwards a bit since this guy's going to close the gap very soon, but it is what it is. Um, if we put the shield away, we could Guiding Bolt. Or we could Bless without that. If we bless Jaina, Unsen, and Bjorn, they can hit for sneak attacks, spell attacks, and fire attacks with a plus four on their rolls. We will step to here, attempt to kill this goblin, except we used our action to spell cast because I'm dumb. This guy's running over. But had to dash to get far enough across, which is fine with me. Uh, Bjorn. We have plus 1d4 to our spell attacks right now. So, let's go with a second level inflict wounds. Necro. And we miss. Oh, and that one. Okay. That's a grim time. Don't think that's going to hit anyone. Good. And Sen is just going to be sneak attacking from here. Well done. Good strike. Jaina needs to get around far enough, hopefully, that they will not still have half cover from being in front of somebody else. They don't. Three bolts in there. And somehow, we miss two of them, even getting our extra bless rolls. It is what it is. Um, block an attack on ally. Good. I don't know how we're going to deal with those goblins after all this is done, but we'll figure it out. I don't know if we rush at this wall, whether they'll be able to shoot directly down on us or not. Um, Gulruk. No extra d4. Let's put weight of justice on. Hit this guy. And you know what? I will smite. Just for the extra damage. To get this whole thing done in fewer rounds. That is a massive miss for us on plus 10. That is two massive misses for us. That is an incredible round for the bad guy. Block against the stone, although... Maybe I shouldn't, given that throwing a rock probably isn't the thing of most concern to us with regard to damage rolls. Uh, we're going to go all in on another Inflict Wounds. We still have the benefits of Bless. Yes. No. 16 is reasonable. That's going to hit someone. Unsen. Unsen's going to attack here. With a plus 12 to their attack rolls is wild. Jaina, again, going with the Scorching Rays. Next time, 
I swear. Still can't hit three of those in a row. Excellent, and that one up there. And then doing okay. We can always give more temporary HP in a moment. I'll get you yet. That is a bad time. Right, here come the deadly rolls. There's one of them. That's a good one. I approve of that. That's a bad one. Bless is gone. We could not save on the concentration check. Um, let's let this rock hit us or attempt to hit us. They still have disadvantage from throwing it so far. Well, that's good to know. Right, Bjorn. Cast spell. We're not blessed anymore, but we're still going to inflict wounds. That is massive. 27 on an 8, 9, 10. Block the arrow, because that's a weapon that I actually feel threatened by. And then a sneak attack here to finish. Ha! That must have hurt. Right, fingers crossed they don't... Okay, they've completely disappeared from the battlefield, so I don't think they'll be doing any kind of regeneration. We've got our sword out. Let's cunning action dash to here. We're going to get moving promptly. Then after that, nothing else over here. I'd love to have this goblin dead. But more pressingly, I think, is going to be using power spell shield on Gulruk and his 6 HP. So, Gulruk gets 20 temporary HP. That is five times our level. We're getting shot up over there, which is not fun. Right, Gulruk is up. I would like to have this one dead, so they are less likely to try and kill Unsen. We push up to here. We pull out a javelin. Big whiff. And they're going to keep fleeing. We will be able to give chase with cunning action dashes. Uh, plus three to hit with that. Let's get the mace out. Stand here. Bop them on the head. That is a bad time. That's a good miss up there. Right, we need healing. Jaina is about to go. And Jaina can give us a bunch of temporary HP. We could get a ranged weapon out and attack over here. Alright, that's one more creature dealt with. If I put myself there, how many tiles is it going to be? Like, too many, I think. There's just no good spots for cover. Alright, maybe instead of... Oh, there's still this guy here as well. I want more HP. We could get to Jaina... Jane is up next. Let's just put ourselves behind this full cover then. Jaina is not going to get over to there. We do not have big attacks left in us. Let's stand next to Gulruk. We can then defend one another for at least a turn.
the Cutthroat has 66 HP. The Skirmisher is the current unknown. Do we know anything more about them? Not really. Alright, we miss on a 12. They miss on a 12 as well. Right, now we can't continue to defend our ally. But we still have a spell slot, don't we? Let there be light. Bad time. Is it really only a plus four on that? Plus proficiency plus charisma is two and two. Yep, that is correct. Oh, I meant to get my shield back out. At least that's a big miss. Bjorn is still incredibly healthy. Let's push up to here. What spellcasting do we have left in us? Decent amount. And a nat one is just what you want to see. That might hit us with our shield down. It does indeed. Right, we can get to here. Bit of climbing. And then... Hopefully, get them dead. That's good. Cunning action. Uh, dash. Excuse me. I guess we're just dashing to here. Jaina. It's just fire bolts or magic missiles at this point, really. Apart from if we want to get over there to try and do something about Unsen's HP up the wall. Uh, this is plus four. This is... What's our spellcasting modifier? Wizard spells... Attack bonus plus six. All right. Two whole damage. Twelve is absolutely fine. All right, we really want to be up high as well. So we're just going to dash, I think. We can climb here. That's great news. And we still have 20 temporary HP. And there's a fireplace just there. That's nice. Right, from down here, we're just going to continue spellcasting. Thank goodness we finally hit with something reasonably worthwhile. It's a bad time, but we have temporary HP for just this reason. We could cunning action dash, and Jane is about to go. If Jaina, how far is her stuff? I can't select her to check her character sheet, which is a pain in the butt. Um, we could rush up and attack this guy. Could I cunning action dash to there? I can't, otherwise I would push this one off the cliff. Which would be a great time for us. But we need the HP extra from Jaina. So. Let's stand here. We can get protected by Gulruk. And... I'm just going to take the dodge action right now and keep my shield up. 
Now, I'm really, really hoping that from down here we can use power, spell shield. Out of range, sure. Let's get a little closer. Use power, spell shield. Yes. So, Unsend now has 20 extra temporary HP. We are close enough that we can push in and attack. Sword and board. I trained hard for this. No more smiting because we are out of spell slots. Uh, we actually have line of sight on this guy, which is kind of amazing. And I'm going to get my mace and shield out and push in. So if this guy gets pushed off the cliff, we have options. That one's running off, which is a pain in the butt. We are going to cunning action dash to here. Such athleticism. And shove, push away. Ah. Uh... We... They rolled a nat 20 on their check. Great shame. Great, great shame. Um, I don't think we need to be up high. I think we can stay down low and help out if somebody does get pushed off. We have advantage on that one. But I think we'll try and sneak attack or something similar in a moment. There's a massive one damage. This one is disengaging back across the river. It's going to be a real pain in the butt, isn't it? We're not going to be able to reach either of them. Most impressive. Because they will just keep disengaging, I think. So, we could try ranged attacks... But I don't love it either. Let's just take the dodge action ourselves. Make us harder to hit for them. Bjorn can get over there. We're not going to be doing much with our can trips. Oh, I used up the advantage. Another miss. That was uh, folly on my part for sure. A good miss there against Unsen. With the advantage spent, let's try shoving again. Oh, come on. Are we blessed again? Why are we adding D1? Oh, Stone of Good Luck, that's why. It's written there, right in a big, bold green box. Um, but... 16 plus 8 does not be 18 plus 8, which is a shame. Jaina, you can hit this guy, but I'd rather honestly get one of them dead. Three more damage is three more damage, you know. They're going to make a trash attack and keep moving. But not far away enough from us. Okay. The skirmisher did not have a lot of HP. And I'm real happy about it. So it's just this cutthroat with like all of the HP in the history of the world. They're going to take what might be their last turn. They finally move away from the edge. They're learning something. We're just going to get in, hit them as hard as we can, obviously. We miss on a 13 as well. Nine is more like it. Thank you so much. Um, I will throw a javelin. Oh, disadvantage... Yeah, because if Bjorn can get the kill, it means the Goblin Cutthroat will take one less turn. Super. 
600 XP. I guess the troll is a big contributor to that. Let's quickly gather the party together and try and find all the spoils of our labor, including specifically the javelins that we threw. We also need to make sure we go back and get that troll tongue, don't we? So a little bit of cleanup before we end our day. Thank you for not all breaking your ankles as you jump off that giant cliff. Uh, there's a troll's tongue. Uh, a scroll of detect evil and good. A club, scimitar, amethyst, ration pouches. Just grab all that up. Can I? Very quickly. Settings. Uh, game. Auto equip stuff that you pick up. Reaction timer. Stop movement. Random C. Group. Fast travel. Show helmet in portrait. Quick save. Enable vocalization of components. Difficulty. Custom, damage taken, health and rest, encumbrance rule, tabletop, concentration, spell components, dice rolls, story, exploration. I thought it was in there somewhere, but perhaps I'm missing it. I just don't want to auto equip on stuff picked up, but hey, never mind, right? There's got to be more stuff for us to collect particularly i'm sure i threw a couple of plus one javelins around that i'd really like back in here we've got a crafting manual belt of regeneration and a troll hunter's journal can i read that immediately uh, a rough blue diamond and a troll heart well that's not hard to do at all is it and a troll hunter's journal I found that there is a 1 in 10 chance to salvage a troll's heart. I heard a rumor that there is a group of them in this small forest. If I can find a heart, I'm sure I'll be able to build a magic item that mimics their regeneration ability. That does sound pretty sick, to be honest. Like, getting back, like, 1d10 HP per turn or something would be awesome. Right, I don't see any more of these javelins. How many do we have in our inventory right now? If I'm losing plus one javelins to throwing them, I'm going to be upset about it. Is this just for selling? That's the wrong button. I want that one. Yes, seems so. Uh, oh, we have four superb javelins plus the one we have equipped. So I think we're doing okay on that front. And I don't see any other containers, at least down here. There's a queen hive, an orchid bush, orchid bush pots. Queen vine, excuse me. All right, let's stand up on this cliff. And then next time, we will immediately be taking a short rest. And then we will go and pillage whatever else we can find here and hope not to be disturbed by anything else. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.